Hello YouTube and Lego Star Wars fans, welcome to my review of set 75018. This is Jack 14's Stealth Starfighter. So this set is a 2013 set, has a piece count of 550 pieces, comes with four minifigures, and it retails in the UK at the Lego store, the Lego store online for £59.99 pence. Or in the United States for $69.99. Excuse me. So, it comes with two instruction manuals. You can see here is the first one, instruction manual one. I'm going to give a very quick look at these. So, 48 pages of build in manual one. Instruction manual two. So in the rear of this one we have um, some information and they're the sets from the latest wave. This was the summer 2013 wave of Star War, Lego Star Wars sets. So you can see all those along there. And this now completes all of these sets I have reviewed are and, and are on YouTube so look back in my history and you will see every single one of those sets for you to review so again the minifigures that are in those sets so you'll see all of these minifigures as well and we have one two pages of inventory some of the features there on that set um, and total pages in this one of 77 so that's our instruction manuals, right onto the box. You can see there, you can see the front, there are the minifigures that are in this set. We'll have a closer look at those in a second. You can see all four are new to this set. Um, rear of the box, as always, some of the features um, on the set, but again, I will show you those features in a second. So let's take a look at the set. Okay, just zooming in guys for you. So there we can see, all built. Does look pretty menacing. Um, I think this is a bit of a Marmite set, personally. You either love it or hate it. I'm not quite sure where I am with it yet. Um, but anyway, I think it does look quite menacing. It's a really solid set, actually. One thing I was surprised about is, for the size of the spacecraft, how heavy it is and just how solid it is. So, let's take a closer look at those minifigures. Okay, first up we have our Special Forces Clone Trooper. So you can see there in front of us, and you can see he is holding a blaster. And he also has this energy shield here, this translucent blue. Okay, so we're just going to remove the energy shield, show you a closer look at that. Okay, you can see how that is. Assembled. Okay. Again, that blaster. Let's take the blaster out of his hand for now. There we go. So we can see there the printing on this minifigure. His front torso, and then also down on his legs there. See that there? There we go. Some excellent detail printing on this. Again, you can see there on his helmet. Um, does look really cool. And these minifigures in this set are, again in my opinion, are really good. Although I'm not quite sure on the um, actual spacecraft itself, the actual minifigures I think are great. So there we can see the rear torso printing on that. Let's just remove his helmet. So we can see there's no rear face printing. And there we can see his, his front, obviously his face printing on the front there. Um, so that is our first minifigure. Okay, next up we have our Bounty Hunter, and he has this blaster rifle. I'll just remove that, I've seen a million and one of these before. Again, you can see his front torso print in there. And again, this one we have leg print in detail as well. Okay, round two in the rear. 
you can see that rear torso printing see he has this white helmet on there's no printing on the rear however move around to the front there and, and we can see again a pretty menacing looking helmet with some really good printing detail to the front of that as well move his helmet and there we get to see the face with this um, beard going on there it's kind of stubble and he looks like he's got some scarring on his face there as well and again it's only a single pilot sided face so there we go and that is our second minifigure the bounty hunter okay next up we have our astromech droid this is r 4 Go. okay just a very quick look at this one then see the print in there to the front of the um, droid top and on the main chassis or body legs no rear print into the body part but on the top part of the droid again we can see there's some print and detail there and actually on the very top as well um, again there's the print and detail there so that is R4GO Okay, and finally the main man for this set. This is Jack 14 and he is looking awesome. And this is a really, really cool minifigure. I do like this one a lot. So, let's have a look at that print in detail. Down there on the legs, over into the torso. And that helmet is looking absolutely awesome. This is probably one of if not my favorite minifigures now certainly within the lego star wars range so you can see there on his arm as well get that in there he's got this kind of force lightning effect on that translucent blue arm hopefully you can pick that detail up there it does look there we go again pretty awesome so rear Rear torso printing. Again, some good detail and good printing. There's no print into the rear of the helmet. And that arm is just a standard white arm. Um, and he comes with this lightsaber. So again, the, the translucent blue lightsaber piece. And unusually, but it's Jack 14, he has this white lightsaber hilt um, on this particular model. So let's take the helmet off. Again, great printing and detail on his face. He's got those menacing looking eyes. If I spin him round, excellent face um, to the other side of all the force lightning going on all over his face there. Fantastic detail on this minifigure. Really, really is a great um, looking minifigure. Now another thing that Jack 14 comes with, if I take his helmet off, we can, in fact let's spin him around, let's give him that look. He also comes with a hairpiece. So there he is there, with his hair on. Okay, that's our minifigures complete. Okay, so there we now see the actual stealth starfighter in front of us. Um, and again, my opinion on this, um, I think it looks a menacing set, but again, I just can't decide from the point of view of a actual Star Wars theme set whether I like it. I'm not sure it actually fits in with the whole Star Wars theme. Um, anyway. Let's just spin this round so you can uh, get a look at this from all angles. Okay. And look at the rear. And again, back around to the side. Okay, let's take a closer look. OK, 
Okay, take a bit of a closer look now. Just point out some of the detailing. So here we have some stickers. I'm assuming these are some of the people that you shot down. And it is identical on the other side there. So while we're at the top here, we have this um, cannon at the top, which does go up and down and spins completely 360 degrees. Well, that's up as our cockpit. Again, that just opens up on a normal kind of hinge piece. Look inside there, where Jack would sit here. See our panel there, control panel. Again, that is a sticker. So that's our cockpit area. Back down. Okay, round to the wing area here. Again, these can be adjusted, like so. Although, not off completely. Okay. Um, we have this missile function piece here, which does actually spin round. And these are fixed, so that doesn't actually um, come off or fire. Um, again, exactly the same on the other side. And then look at the engine detail. There's some um, blue pieces inside. This can spin a little bit, as we can see there, but it does look good with the blue inside it. And also round to the rear, we obviously following on with the blue detailing. We have this. Um, blue stud piece there as well. This goes all with the kind of the Jack 14 colour theme and his force lightning um, kind of followed on with his spacecraft as well. On the side here um, we can see again some sticker detail here. These do all actually raise up so there's no sort of compartments as such inside but I guess you do kind of see some of the detailing um, and how this wing mechanism is fixed on there. Um, but aside from that, I mean, you could possibly store maybe his lightsaber in there. Um, and the other side is exactly the same. Same sticker detail, and again, these all um, lift up. Okay, at the rear, this part here lifts up. And we do have in here this little storage compartment. Let's take that out. And there's a little crate there, let's just put the starfighter down you can see that in there and we've actually got inside the holocron so there is the holocron there which is obviously hidden in that crate inside Jack 14's starfighter so let's just put that back into the rear again just slides back in like so and then the top door We'll just close down. Um, right, let's have a quick look underneath now. So, here and on the other side here, these are actually flick fire missiles. You can see the flick fire missile itself there at the front. But how this actually works is all we do is push on that. So, it's not actually a flick, it's a push. So, watch out for that missile when I push. And hopefully, you saw that fly out of there. And again, do the same on the other side and it goes out there so some pretty cool function and um, probably one of the final features on this is the actual wind mechanism wing mechanism itself as you can see it's up in that position at the moment but if I just simply twist this I'll turn it you see it lower the wings lowers the wing and again on this one lowers it down there so now we're in more of the flight mode um, which we can see there um, and again to put them back up just simply twist that and again that side twist that so now we're in landing mode very quickly underneath we have a landing gear piece here this is retractable so it does adjust like so can be tucked up out of the way well that's it obviously down for landing and that's the other part of the aircraft there where this will land okay and that's it for the main features on this set. I just want to show you now with the minifigures in place.